The one thing that I haven't figured out is getting up in the middle of the night I, and writing it down or singing it because so many times I'm like, oh, I'm gonna write that tomorrow. I've heard, yeah, I know, and I and you just don't hadn't got the will to quite get up and start it. Yeah, like some people <laughs> do. I, I'm gonna have to just take a chance. I remember it in the morning, but you know that even that some a lot of times you, I don't think you do or. And uh, so it's never a bad thing to have something to at least jot down the idea, I guess. But yeah, man, you're right. That's it's crazy. That's what's cool though, the thing about how songs come about and how if you just listen, if you just pay attention. I think that's how we, you know, you just listen to how people talk and and how they explain things, and I think that helps us be able to relate to to just because I think yeah. we as right, I think we listen to music a little different than just the comment person. I think uh, that's why some of the songs that are the most simple are, are some of the best ones because it's. You know, but but then also there are songs that you're like, how did they write that, man? That is so unbelievable. So I'm I'm a fan of it all, and I think it's, there's room for all of it. It's uh, you got to have all those kinds of songs. And for me, uh, you know, the first, the you should be here song, and now that I'm getting to show a little different side of of myself, and I think that's cool. What we get to do, the first album, after that, everybody knew I like to have a good time. This album, I'm you know, talking about a, a couple things I hadn't uh, on the first, so it's. I just love getting to record new songs, write new songs, and just the excitement of people hearing it, wondering the anxiety of when are they going to like this or what. You yeah. Know? How did you write yourself out of stuff? Like, by that I mean, for instance, the song that, you know, you referenced to your dad so much mm -hmm. here, the, you know, and, and the, you sang on award shows and whatever. Mm -hmm. And and I know probably for you, you you got – and had to and did talk about that so much. Yeah. You know, at some point you probably, for me when, you know, publicly and especially when you're doing a lot of interviews and stuff and people always want to go there when they find out Absolutely. about that, at some point don't you want to bounce out of it and just write something really fun and go, yeah. I, my dad was a fun guy too, exactly, you know? It's man. like, can we stop crying here for a minute? Yeah, exactly, and that's, that's so... <laughs> You know, that's so true because he was a fun guy. And that's not, you know, it's, yeah, although it is sad, we didn't we didn't mean for it to just, you know, ruin people's days when they hear it. It's just kind of, it's, it's a song that's different than any of others I've had. And I think that, you know, that type of song is why I really fell in love with country music in, in the first place, yeah. that, that you could have a connection with something. Even as a kid, I mean, I, I remember, you know, songs that hit me. And, I you know, like now it's just... But you're right. I, I it's it makes me want a next next song. I think I'm gonna have to come with something fun because it is. You don't want people to think that's all you think about and all I did. I, but it has. I hope the people, the listeners, and everybody know that their stories and the stuff that I'm never gonna stop hearing. It help. I mean, it lets me know that I'm not alone. It lets me know that I had it pretty good with my dad. I had 30 years with him, and a lot of people never had that. So it's. Just looking at things, it's looking now. My mom got to be at the number one party the other day. We celebrated the song, and she's here. You know, awesome. it's it's all about looking at, you know, what we still have. I think too. So it's I've learned a lot. Though I will say that from that song and just how powerful. I thought I knew how powerful it was till I was the one actually behind the song. And it is uh, that having a taste of that. That's all I want to do, man. Because you know, being a fan of yours, being a fan of so many artists growing up, I I just want people. I want to be around, and I want. To be uh, hopefully talking to somebody like you one day and just saying, "Hey, man, I remember that song." You came out with. So, I'm, uh, you know, I think to do that you gotta, you know, keep writing and, and even if you don't write, record the best songs you can. And that's yeah. that's what I love about this town and just having some success. I'm getting songs that I didn't write that I wish I would have, and that's never happened. I'm so excited just about being at that point. How do you look at those songs, or do you do you even worry about it? Do you just listen to songs and can you honestly go, you know? I love that. I got to record that. Or, you know, I think for us, as, especially as artists, I, I can remember when M My Maria was the first song that we ever recorded we didn't write. Wow. You know, I mean, we were, and Ronnie didn't want to cut it because he didn't want to be a cover band. But, I'm, and, I'm like, see, that is so, <laughs> but, and see, back, that's something when I, I remember that song. I didn't understand the whole songwriting process, and I think once when I was in college and more, I started looking. and I was like, "Wow!" And then you look back and see the people that really did write their songs. Even even then, you know, it's like, "Wow!" You you didn't really understand that, and that makes you respect even more as as a songwriter. But I I get that feeling too. It's like you, when you write songs and you love it, it's easier to tell you know what you want to say when you're writing it. But 
I also know that, man, there's a lot of people that have been around a long time that didn't really write any of it. And it's uh, as long as the song is, it fits you and people, that's my thing. I just, I can't sing a song if I don't believe it, or at least I, I won't sound believable because yeah. everything I record, whether it's fun or not, it's got a little bit of me in there, I think. And that's, so I, I uh, but I also think I've heard songs that I know are hits that just aren't me. It's like, wow, somebody's going to, you know, nail that one, but I just don't, you know, I'm not going to take a song that, I even look at the writers too. I'm like, if I don't think that's going to fit me or if I, that song should be a single for somebody else, I don't want to, you know, there's a lot of things that happen when a song gets recorded. There's people out there trying to feed their families and it's just coming up the way I did through the publishing world and just seeing how you're, it's affecting so many people, like a song. And I just, I don't know, I'm just glad I had that, that time to really learn what it's all about, I think, and uh yeah, I, I weigh in uh, all that stuff when I'm trying to pick songs, but it's uh, it's all about the song to me. It was a lot easier for me when I was just playing bars in college and stuff like that to sing everybody else's stuff, and I was writing songs back then. But so then, that's what I did. Yeah. Yeah. Once you, but then once you kind of become an artist and you, you know, you say, like, hey, people believe like they like what I'm writing too. They're they're digging that, and I can be my own person. I don't have to, because I, I mean, I remember there's a. Uh, cover that just popped up on youtube of me singing like six years no like 10 years ago eight years ago something of me doing red dirt road and just my singing was so different than it is now just you know i was covering songs i wanted to yeah. be the person singing those songs and writing those songs and it's just now to think you know now i've, I've got my own uh own stuff and own voice and it's just uh man it's it's cool to have had have, have good music to to look up to when you're when you're coming up there. i am so lucky that they didn't have YouTube and stuff when I was playing in college. Let's see, you'd have been sitting here right now. Somebody would have been, look at Kicks books. Look what I found. I'm like, where did they find this stuff, man? Like, I remember when that video was up, I used to think it was awesome. I'm like, yeah, dude, show this around. Nobody even knows I sing. And now it's like, can we get a management to take that down somewhere? <laughs> well, it's crazy, man. We're, And I think, you know, your song, Middle of a Memory, is a, is a great case in point. Just how many times... Have you been having dinner or been just somewhere talking with somebody, having a meaningful conversation? And your song is something that, you know, you wrote it in a way that any average person can identify with it. You're on a dance floor with some girl and her girlfriends come yeah. up and, and, and bust things up. Yeah. But when you get a little celebrity and you're, you're, you don't change. And the people around you don't change, but they're excited to see you. Yeah. But you get interrupted a lot more than you used to. Yeah, man, and that's, I know, and that's, uh, you, you really do. And that's, you can either take that and that's, you know, it depends on what kind of day it's been. And that's that's the hard thing, I think, about what we do and having to be, you know, this person all the time when you, you just want to have a conversation. But I always say, even whether it's pictures or, or whatever it is, you know, I'm still fairly new at this thing and, and people, you know, I grew up a country music fan. I, I know what it would have been like if, if I'd have got a picture with whoever, you know, and just that kind of stuff. And I, I just look at it and say, one day, you know, they're they're not going to interrupt me, and that's going to be even worse than them, them interrupting me. I'm so always I just glad enjoy. somebody cares. And, and, and that's what I'm saying. It's just nice to know that, man, if you didn't have fans, if you didn't have as, as, as hard as it is sometimes to joke, you know, your personal life and your work, it's just uh, it's nice to have people that care. But they're – you know, there are those people that are disrespectful. That Those are the kind that are kind of like, man, I'd, I'd rather just not been interrupted. But there, there are also people that, that uh, you know, can make your day. You're, you think you're getting interrupted yeah. and you hear a story and you're like, wow, that, that was meant to be that. Yeah. I'm glad I took a second and listened to that. And that's what I think you got to be open for, for everything, man. It is. You never know what's around the corner. One of my favorite expressions somebody told me one time, uh, we were talking about some artist that was rude to some fan and, he said, I want to be a star, I want to be a star, I want to be a star. Will you people please leave me alone? That, that is, uh, <laughs> you know, that's so, that's so true. And I just, I, you know, I, that's what, I can't speak for him because, you know, I've only been, you know, it's only been three, four years and, and it's really now just taken off. So I haven't, I, I can't imagine doing, you know, for doing it for 20 years and, and dealing with it because I bet it, it does have, take its toll on you. But I just know that, you know, as of right now, um, you know, just having people that support me and, that's what it's all about, and I, I've learned, you know, just from the songs I've released, I've learned how it's just I know what that feeling when people comes up come up and tell me, you know, they're a big fan of my music. I know what that feels like because I'm such a big fan of other people's music, so it's just still unbelievable. I me think, too. I, I think fans sometimes, and I, I try to remind them that the fact that we've 
basically given up everything and dedicated our whole lives to this is because we're such huge fans. That, and I, you're right. That's, that's <laughs> I mean, we're, the, we're like the biggest fans. We, we're we such huge fans. It's like all we want to do, do it's all, all I the know, time. And it, you yeah. miss out on these other things in life where, like, at me at my my point, you know, I'm so like, into, like, what I'm doing, and I've wanted this chance my whole life that I'm not willing to do anything. You know, I, I want it. I want to be focused on it, and that's uh, – so that's what I'm saying. I'm at the point now, you know, trying to find balance and realize that, that uh, you know, a lot of people are out there are depending on you, but you gotta, you know, you gotta take time for yourself as well. It'll, it'll, uh, you drive yourself crazy if, if you don't. So it's, uh, but I, I get to go play and no matter what kind of day it's been, man, this, you know, I get to stand on that stage every night and for whether it's 40 minutes, hour and a half, I'm, everything's all right. So that's, to get to do that every day, man, that's, uh, I'm lucky. I won't make you mention any names, but have you ever had, some some artists coming up that you you really you were just a huge fan of that didn't treat you the way you See, wanted not, to. You know, I was there just you, for me. Again, I'm not asking you. No, no, I'm not going to name. No, yeah. I, I wouldn't dare even. But did name anybody ever but, break your heart and and stick with you? Not a, uh, not really. Like not. That's what I've been fortunate. But I have heard, and that's another thing. I've heard you know stories of some friends of mine that. You know, somebody they had looked up to maybe was was rude to, and I just know I got to see how bad like that affected them. It's like, wow. They say I have heard sometimes you don't want to meet your heroes or whatever it is, but I uh, I think that's part of it, man. And, and that it, you learn a lesson, even though I haven't experienced that, I know what it would be like, and I just I can't imagine it. And I just think we're in a situation where you know one little instance where they take it the wrong way could start yeah. a rumor that you're a bad person. You know, and that that's why I don't. Has that ever the, happened to you? That, I mean. I have seen that where people have said, you know, oh, Cole Swindell wouldn't take, come off his bus to do this. And that, and it's just like, wow, you know, you try so hard to give everything you got and want, you know, but when you don't, nobody's understanding. You know, it's kind of, uh, it's one of those deals. But I, I, I uh, you know. Just I, do I all be, you can. You just do all you can and you can't, yeah, obviously you can't please everybody. I think I would like to be able to, I, I, but I, that's another thing that you just got to realize that. You got to stick with people that you know love you no matter what. Not if you just are going to take a picture with them and yeah. and whatnot. So it's uh, it, it's Ronnie fun. and I were in the airport one day, and these two girls came over and they wanted an autograph, and we gave them one. And and we're just me and Ronnie are just yeehawing with them, you know, yeah. just cutting up back and forth. And you know, we we thought, well, that was fun, funny. And man, a few minutes later, one of their friends come over and I heard what you said to them, and so and so, and you know, we're. We have all your CDs, and they're all going in the trash and whatever. And man, we were just like, what? and we, what did we say? What like, did you do? And you just. I mean, that could have been it, mad that you weren't talking to I, them and you were talking to their friends. Like, I still know? have no idea. you just like, oh, my gosh, you know, because the last thing. and You don't want, I hear you like, yeah. well, how is this even possible? So I, I, I know, man, it is a crazy, crazy world, but it's. You know, for, thank God. You for the record, we're trying to be good we're, guys. We're trying. Yeah, we just did everything <laughs> we possibly could. We, I guess, we shouldn't have talked, and then you're in trouble for that. So it's. Uh, what's uh, What's it like touring with Florida Georgia Line? Man, it is. It's been an amazing experience. You know, I've been the past three years been on tour with Luke and Al Dean, doing some Chesney shows. Now, these guys, you know, I've known them since before I had my. They had their deal. I had my deal, and they they still treat me the same you know things are a lot bigger for them than than it were, was then and same with me but just the environment I think people think it's like the biggest party ever out there every night and it's I mean they put on a awesome show it's energy packed but it really is I think you know to get to where they are the level you have to work hard and and those guys I'm telling you after being on tour I'm not just saying it because we're sitting here uh, I, I respect them uh, even more now just because I see how hard they work and it's I mean, whether it's with their trainer, whether I mean, they've got their writing bus out, and that's something, me being a songwriter, I mean, they've kind of made me feel bad this year. I'm like, man, these guys don't stop writing songs. And that's, you know, I want to get back to that point. For, for three years, that's all I did, all I cared about before I had a record yeah. deal. And you get the record deal, and you just, there's so many more things you have to put your energy into. And But they don't, I don't know, man, they just don't stop. And I, I got to write some songs out there with them. It's been it's just been fun, and, and especially to a lot of people start that question. They're like, how crazy is that tour? And it's really, it, it's, you know, I mean, everybody wants to get backstage, and once you get back, there's really not a whole lot going on, you know. It's just, <laughs> it, the fun is out there in the crowd, you know. Yeah, and that's, absolutely. Uh, that's where the show's at. It, it really is, and that's what, you know, it's very serious. I mean, they're, they're, they've got a serious atmosphere back there, and I think, you know, when you get to that level, I think you have to start being pretty professional and 
that's uh, as crazy and wild as their show is. That they are just good guys, and I'm I'm glad that they've been so good to me, man. I'm just hoping I can, you know, one day I'm headlining and I get to take my buddies and people I believe in. Uh, that's I just, you know, I'm already I'm still newer, but I, I'm already to the point where I can't wait to do because I've had so much he I, like help and people believing in me. I just you can't do it without that, and I'm uh, anybody that is. Uh, you know, coming up and, and is a fan of my music, I'm I'm going to be there to you know, try to help them. So. <laughs> well, man, keep the roll going. You're doing good. It's always good talking to you. Good man. to catch you're, up a little bit. <laughs> as real as it gets, buddy. Yeah. I wish I hope you, hope you get to come out to the show soon. Hey, I look forward to All it. All right, brother. Good to see you, kid. <laughs>